Hello Flosstube, it's Caitlin with The Stitch for Mom. Welcome back to my channel and it's time for my quarterly update. Got lots of stuff to talk about. Um, first off, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you didn't hear my news. Got a little wee baron on the way. Um, little boy, he's due in June. So we're really excited. So some of my stitching has to do with him. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Second trimester has been a lot harder than my first trimester was. Um, a lot of leg pain, a lot of just uncomfortableness. So I start my, my third trimester starts on Sunday. So we're almost in the home stretch. We're almost there. Sorry, had to clean my glasses. They are super dirty. <laughs> So, um, we are almost in the home sweat stretch. We have the nursery is almost ready. The clothes don't fit me anymore. All that fun stuff. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, so today my plan is I have FFOs to show you. I just have finished items to show you. I have whips to show you and I have some haul, just a small amount of haul to show you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. My first, um, finish I'm going to show you is from with a needle and thread it's their um the jelly bean little booklet she has with all the little things and it's like something jelly bean I don't know pregnancy brain is real and my brain is mush it's literally mush but um I stitched this little chick on um 28 count purple Lugana I used all the called for colors and I finished it on this little cutting board or cheese board or whatever from Hobby Lobby they had in their Valentine's Day section. And I have two different pieces of fabric and a yellow twine flower with a covered button on it. I need to trim that. But super cute. Love how it turned out. So now I have two done and added this book. And that's it. Figure one, one at a time. Like once per, one, one per year. And I'll be good. Don't mind the mess back behind me. I'm working on reorganizing things. It is spring break right now. Um, thought I'd get a ton of stitching done. Have hardly like done anything. Taken a lot of naps. So, you know, there's always next year. Um, a new, another finish I have is a recent finish. It is the Bloom um, What's in My Cup from Stitching with the Housewives. I stitched it on a green, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, it's a 28, it's a 28 count Lugana. I did a lot of Christmas stuff. Oh, I know that my camera is backwards. Like I know that this doesn't show up as bloom for you. It shows up as blub. I know that. Samsung sucks. <laughs> and uh, it won't let me mirror my camera. So. Um, just deal with it. Sorry. I wish I had a better explanation. Um, you'll just have to kind of, you know what it says. It says blue. Um, so I stitched this on a piece that I got from Walmart, the Pioneer Woman piece. And I'm going to look for, um, a flower to put up here. I just haven't found the right one yet. So super cute. And it's just a little pedestal. I like it a lot. Um, next finish is Heart and Hand Spring Whirly Good. Um, I stitched this on 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco using all my own colors. So I used similar, I, but I did add purple. So the pur originally this was supposed to be like a light pink, but I like purple. So I added purple in there. It's finished on this wooden tile, which is the same thing my other one was finished on. Um, it has batting and I just did a ruffle around the edge and it just sits like that. Super cute. I really like this one. It makes me happy. Um, another finish I had was, oh my goodness, I do not remember what this is called. It's this piece. No idea what it's called. I do not remember. Spring gathering. Maybe. It's super cute. I like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> excuse 
excuse me. I stitched this using my own colors. I changed the color of the basket to white, um, changed the color of the bunny. I um, finished it on a frame from Michael's that they had on clearance. And I actually bought two of them because I'm going to stitch the other bunny. Probably not this year because I'm done with spring stitching, but next year I will stitch the other bunny. But yeah, turned out super cute. I like it a lot. It's on Stitch on 28 Count Coffee Tea Dyed Monaco. And it has batting on it too. Puff it up a little bit. Okay. My next FFO is Bunny Bakery by Stitching with the Housewives. Um, I stitched this on 28 Count Black Joblin. I did use all the calls for colors, but I did switch up these. And I just made, um, well, I didn't because this is coffee. This is tea and biscuits. But I just used Blushing Beauty for the whole entire thing. And the same with this blue I just used for the whole entire thing. And I did not use called for colors. I lied. I used colors that are similar um, because this is a um, vintage motto sampler thread. And, as, and so is this color, this darker pink. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby for $4.99 and it literally fits in there perfectly. I love it how it turned out. So cute. So cute, one of my favorites. All right, um, another finish I had was also from Stitching with the Housewives. It was Land of the Free. I just finished this on Tuesday. Stitched on 28 Count Black Joblin. Finished on a block from Michaels. Um, I'm really in a patriotic mood, as you'll see from my whips. So, turned out super cute. Really like it. Um, and my last FFO is my punch needle. I finished my punch needle. It literally only took me like an hour and a half to like get it all done and finished. Um, it's not perfect. It's not straight. It's actually terrible looking. Um, <laughs> But it's my, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's a Little House Needleworks one. But I finished it on this piece from Hobby Lobby. It said like, it's like a bathroom sign that said ladies and gentlemen. But I thought it was perfect because it like sits. You don't have to hold it. Um, I just put it on some sticky board. And I put a uh, um, trim around it because it looked kind of, it looked bad. So this is done. I don't know if I'll do another one, but it's done. That's all I can say is it's done. Um, all right, so now just my regular finishes that I have that I haven't FFO'd yet. Um, I finished my winter um, ABCs, my Little House Needleworks. Um, I was super close to getting this one done the last video. I think I finished it the same day I did the last video. I just have not FFO'd it yet. I know exactly how I finish it, but because I have the piece already, but it already has my spring one up, so I'm not too concerned about getting it done. Um, I finished another one of Heart and Hands. Um, what is this one called? Oh, Halloween Square Dance. So now I have one of the Halloween Square Dance books done, so three of them are done. So I'm going to wait to FFO this. I want to get the rest of them done. Um, so I'm going to wait to FFO them all together is my plan. But I stitched this on 28 count Lugana Barnwood. It's like a gray purple. I use this for a lot of my finishing. I use this for a lot of Halloween. I did not use the call for I just used my own colors. Okay. I also finished... Man, names are super escaping me today, so I'm so sorry. I have no idea what this one is called. It's a With I Needle and Thread. Um, I stitched it using my own colors. Um, I don't know how I'm going to finish it yet, but the only reason I haven't finished it is because I want to get the yellow Priscilla's Pretty Plaids to put behind it. Because I think that will look really pretty. Or Chelsea's Checks. One of those two. But I like the way it turned out. It's very cute. I stitched a lot, guys. Got a lot done. 
Um, another finish I have that I haven't finished yet, and I probably should because it's gonna, I'm not going to be able to have it out very much longer. It is um, Oology, the one of the um, egg birds from Satsuma Street. I used Cold for Colors. I stitched this. I think this is 28 Count Platinum Lugana. Um, I absolutely love this piece. It took a while because it's full coverage. I mean, it's not very big, obviously. It's like smaller than my hand. It's like the palm of my hand. But uh, it's super cute. Love it. I haven't decided. She gives directions on how to finish it as an egg. Um, trying to decide if I want to do that or if I want to do something different. I don't know. It's out of my comfort zone. Um, I finished Red, White, and Moo from Star Spangled Swine Farm by Hands On Design. I think I stitched this on 26 count Linda. It's either 27 count Linda or 28 count uh, Joe Glenn. Um, I used all the called for colors. I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it yet. But that's what I got. Okay, my last finish. Hilda Blue and Sunflowers too. Guys, I finished it. If you go back in my last video, I was not super far on it, so I worked really hard and got it done. I like loved on this piece hardcore. And I couldn't bring the original green I used, and then I ended up finding it in like another project, and I was so mad. So I actually had to rip out like my first row of flowers and redo them to this other green. But I mean, it's fine. I'd rather have a finish than not. Not sure how I will finish it yet. Sorry. Um, I might wait till it's closer to Halloween, but I love it. Okay, those are all my finishes. I have a lot. This is why I like to wait until, you know, for a while, so that way you can see things. All right, now on to my whips. I have a lot of whips to talk about and show you. Um, some of them I don't have very much done on. Some of them I'm almost done. So um, my first whip that I've been working on, and I'm hopefully going to finish it. Well, I've been I've been up since five because my legs hurt so bad, and I'm very tired. So I might not get this done today, but I've been stitching on it for a while. Um, it is a cunt by Stitching with the Housewives. It's one of their dapper doodads. <coughs> All I have left is to do the egg hunt sign and then the egg basket. And then I'll be done. It's super cute. I already know how I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it on one of the Target dollar spot things. But you'll be able to see that next time. Another whip that I'm super close on, I've just been procrastinating on finishing it, is um, Ronnie and the Bees. But I changed this to a Make It a Cow. Um, literally, all I have to do is fill, fill in the dress. And I'm not even doing like the polka dots or the flower things because I messed up somewhere and I don't want to fix it. So literally all I have to do is fill in. That's it. And I'm done. I'm waiting for a day where I can just sit and stitch and I don't have to worry about it. But that should be done next time. All right. Now, um, in March, I kind of wanted to start a whole bunch of new things and I know in May for mania I'm probably not going to feel like starting new things I'm gonna be like eight months pregnant almost nine months pregnant um so I decided to start some things so that way I have projects to pick up throughout the summer when I have time probably won't have much time but um one of the projects that I've been working on is my um oh my goodness into the Jungle Sow from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, so I finished this block down here in January. I did this block in February and this is my March block that I need to get done. Um, it's after this Easter piece I'm going to finish up some of my monthly projects that I need to get done. 
but I really like it. It's super cute. This is just going in my craft room because I was going to abandon it, but you know, I got so far and I'm just like, I have all the threads. I have all the floss. I'm going to have all the floss. I have the fabric. I might as well just do it. So that's what I decided to do. All right. Um, another whip was a new start. It is the haunted house by stitching with the housewives. It's their, um, tear trade tidbit. I don't have very much done, but I already know how I'm going to finish it. I got the finishing piece for it last year, so I'm really excited about finishing it. Um, nothing special. I'm not using called for colors. I'm just using things I have in my stash. Um, nothing special on that one. Let's see. All right. This one has a couple projects in it. Let me pull some out. Oh yeah, I forgot that that's where that went. Okay. Oh my goodness, I just have a loose needle in here. Okay, I should finish that. That won't take me very long. Let me pull all this out. Sorry, guys. Okay, my first one that I'll show you is where Liberty dwells, and it's this piece. Um, not very far on it. Just got some of the white done and then some of the house outlined. I'm stitching this on a 32 count piece of fabric that I coffee tea dyed. It's going to be cute. I'm excited for it. Um, and I'm not using called for, I'm just using color safe pulled. And then I had a meeting on Zoom the other day, and it was so nice. It was like the first day, it was like 70 some degrees, and I was like, I'm gonna sit outside and stitch during my meeting, so I did, and it was after school. Um, so I started Red, White, and Bloom. Um, this is as far as I got. I really like it. I need to continue. I only have one of these done and it's not even FFO'd. So after I get this, after I get the spring done and I get all of my monthly stuff done, I'm going to hardcore focus in on summer stitching. Okay. I started Cinnamon Stars. Everyone knows it. Someone is mowing or doing something. It's really loud. I'm sorry. Cinnamon stars. I am stitching this. I bought this new fabric. It's Ren from Picture This Plus. Um, and I am really liking it. And I'm going to have to buy some more. But I got the fence started and then the, uh, the stems of the flowers. It's very cute. Um, I'm using some called for some of my own. I don't remember. Oh no, I don't remember what green I was using. And I got a lot done. Well, I hope I can figure that out. Sure I can. Okay. Um, I started Grace on the. I'm using some called for some of my own colors. Um, this is as far as I've gotten. I'm just stitching this on, um, I think some lamb's wool, 28 count. Nothing fancy. Um, I think this might be it. I did buy the called for for the house because I think the house is gorgeous. So I did buy the called for colors for that. All right. Um, I have been working on my stitch along, which is dinosaur ABCs. 
by Clouds Factory. Um, I'm stitching it on. I bought the called for fabric. I have not worked on this month yet. I'm going to start it next week. Um, but so far it is so beautiful. So I'm saving all my back stitches till the very end. Because um, all the dinosaurs' names are in back stitches. And this is going to go in the baby's bedroom. It is so cute. The colors, everything about it is just... Oh, I haven't pulled that out for a while. That is, that is amazing. Such an amazing piece. Um, another piece I'm doing for the baby's room is from Frosted Pumpkin Citri. And it's Stegosaurus Exploring and T-Rex Roaring. I am using uh, my own colors that are match what I'm doing for the cell. And I'm stitching it on 28 count uh, black joblin. It's so cute. It's just going to sit on the shelf in his room. But I'm excited. So cute. Okay. Now I pulled out Let's Talk Autumn as a whip and got a little bit more done on it. I got the word acorns done and then these acorn things. This is one of those pieces that I messed up at some point and I put it away, but I brought it back out and I can't remember where I messed up on. So it's going to be a surprise, but I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I want to get this done this year. This is the only one I have started so far for this series. I would like to get more done or started. Okay. I also started, okay, I also bought this project from the Needle and Floss on Etsy. It is a Game Boy controller. <laughs> and it's all done in like the Nordic cross, it's like the Nordic symbols. I don't know. It's super cute and I like it a lot. I super cut it close right here though. So hopefully when I finish it'll be fine but just stitching on 28 count black joblin called for colors. I've only bought one. There's three I want to make so far, maybe four, but I've only bought one. So I want to finish this one before I make the next one. How much should it take me very long? I started it when I was getting my oil changed and like I did like three stitches and I got distracted because I wanted to eat a muffin. <laughs> so uh, I just stopped. And then I never got like back into it. Okay, almost done. I pulled out our Blessed Bee Sal, which is this one. This is another piece I'm gonna work on after. Oh yeah, I gotta find that one. I don't know where that one's at. I'm gonna have to pause. Um, all I did was fill, I got more of the house outlined. I stitched on this for like 45 minutes the other day. I didn't have very much time. Like last Friday, two Fridays ago. Super cute. I like it. I'm going to finish it this year. Um, Alright. Another whip. Is Old Glory. Which I've had forever in my to stitch pile and I just never got to it. Um, I'm using my own colors stitched on 28 count Monaco but this is how it looks. So I got the grass, the flowers, the flagpole started and part of the stars. This one it will be a quick finish if I sit down and get it done which I'm super excited for now that I have like things like going then I don't feel like so overwhelmed. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, I went and got it. It is My Country by Country Cottage Needle Works. Looks like this. This is not the colorway that I'm doing. I'm doing the one that My Life with Miss Sassy did. Um, I absolutely love her colors. So I'm not using her exact colors, but I'm doing something similar. So I got to do the red. 
Sweet Land of Liberty of V. Done. So what I'm going to do is um, switch up the colors. I darkened the colors. And then instead of roses, I'm going to do sunflowers like what she did because it more fits my decor. Now I want to stitch this. Dang it. This is the part of the whips that I was like, ah, oh, I should stitch that. Um, I did pull out while I was up my, um, sorry, let me get this put back in so I don't lose it. Okay, I almost already did. Ooh, and I'm going to finish that Dapper Do Dot on, and then I'm going to finish on this. So this is from the Target LR aisle, and then I painted the egg part yellow with chalk paint. So I think that'll be super cute. Hopefully it turns out. Um... Okay, so I did buy two things at Market. Because um, I had to buy some floss and it kind of traveled alone. And I'm doing a lot better at not buying patterns, I say. And then I also bought, I bought Satsuma Street's Flower Friends. And all the floss to stitch those. Not the Cosmo, I did the DMC. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's so beautiful. Um, I bought Daisy May. I thought she was so cute. I don't know if I'll stitch her as a black bunny, but so cute. Um, and then I had to get Seasons of the Heart. This is like my favorite piece from Market. Absolutely love it. Um, there was a lot of other things at Market that I wanted, but these are the only two things I want. So um, that is all I have to share with you today. So. Um, follow me on Instagram at a stitch for mom. I post there way more often than I do here. Um, next time I have a post, I might have a little baby, which is exciting. So I'll show you about one more time. Um, it's getting bigger. Like by the minute it gets bigger. It's crazy. Um, my kids, my students have named the baby, um, and they call him that name all the time. So it's like, it's Jaquavion is what they call him. It's just a made up name. I, I've never heard of that name. I've been teaching for a while. Maybe it's not made up. Maybe it's a real name. I don't know. But they call him Jaquavion. And so they'll be like, good morning, Miss Larson. Good morning, Jaquavion. Uh, every day. And it's just like, they're obsessed. Obsessed. And they'll like, touch my belly. And um, anytime like, he moves and it's uncomfortable, they'll be like, what you do? What are you doing to Jaquavion? What are you doing? Um, they're, they're super cute and they're already like so in love with him. So, um, that's all I have to share. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter. Have a good start to your summer. Um, let's see, March, April, May. Yeah, I should be back in June. Um, maybe, maybe I'll tr try to do one right before I go into labor. Like, so I'm due in the middle, like June 12th is what I'm due. Um, I think that I'm going to have him early. And I think, because the last week of school is like, right, the week before Memorial Day. And we have a, we have like a field trip that we're going on the day before school gets out. And it's like an outdoor field trip. And it's like an all day field trip. And like, I'm just terrified that I'm going to like go into labor at that time like I just I have like this feeling that it's going to happen it's probably not I'll probably go late I, w I was late when I was a baby but I have like this feeling I'm like oh please don't <laughs> I want to make it to the end of school um yeah so I hope that you guys have enjoyed my video I will see you in June bye